Welcome back. Dev test build in 0.1705. Obviously, we are uh, on this little test ship I've put together. Right then, Lich. I need you to just shoot me, but only like a couple times. Health is currently uh, not at full. Medical cabinet or medical supplies. <gasps> you push R. Heal. It heals you. There's actually two here. If I click the other one, I can actually heal twice. If I click them again, there's a cooldown timer. So can you kill me a little bit more, please? So as you can see, two of them didn't heal me fully. It's only 10 HP. There you have it. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Uh, medical blocks now have the ability to heal players who are in need of assistance. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you is, and uh, this is going to be a big deal for a lot of people. When you're an asteroid, if you come under the ship with me, what we've got here is a salvage computer which is hooked up to uh, some salvage cannons. All right, that's just a camera. You'll also notice that the computer's hooked up to these five Plex storages, which means that when this ship does mining, the inventory oh. does not go into my personal inventory. It but goes in into fact, the ship's Plex stores that were assigned. It goes into the ship's Plex, Plex storage, yeah. Let's just do a nice. bit of mining here. Okay, and what I've done, I now go and have a look underneath. My salvage cannon computer is going to put everything into these Plex storages. If I just check them out, nothing in there. Got some items, got dirt, sand and rock in there. Nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing in there. But I'm not really, I haven't got a big miner. If I had a bigger miner, I'd need a buffer, I guess. But uh, interestingly up here, this Plex storage is actually hooked up to all of them and it has a new filter on it so if I go and open it up it has the set all one filter so if I have a look at that as you can see we've got you can have every block in the game so the the thought behind that was that as I find rare and new stuff it's just gonna pull one of them and then I know oh if I've got a seventh item type you know so you can kind of tell, like, if you're looking for a specific thing, you can kind of tell roughly how much you've got. Because it's going to take one of that item if you have it. So that's the idea behind that. But uh, if you want to turn that off, you can simply click and it's off. Look at the filter on the one that I'm standing on, Tom. It will make complete Why sense. Why <laughs> holes? Okay, guys. So here we go. We got two Plex storages. One of them is full the other one is not full you'll notice both filters are inactive the filter set on both is a hyperflux coil one per tick each of these plex storages is drawing one so if i turn this one on it'll draw the thruster this way but turn this one on it'll draw the thruster this way okay guys here we go we got two plex storages one of them is full the other one is not full you'll notice both filters are inactive the filter set on both is a hyperflux coil one per tick so that means that each of these plex storages is drawing one you know so if i turn this one on it'll draw the thruster this way if i turn this one on it'll draw the thruster this way so if this one is full this one is empty all right notice that both lights are off so when the light is off this is empty and the light is off this is full so what we're going to do is move this one plex uh, sorry this one thruster and uh, the or gate and the activation block are needed to make this work and this is how we can indicate whether it's full or whether it's empty so if i just remember this rightly if we turn this one on it's going to draw the item into here which will make the state of this plex storage not full so it went from full to not full okay because as you can see there's now a hole here that activates a true turning on the light if i'm going to i don't want them fighting each other so i'm going to turn this one off and then I'm going to turn this one on and that's going to draw the single thruster back making because obviously this went from uh, empty to not empty and there you have it so now like I say by using this system you've got a way of determining whether a plex storage is going from not full to full or from full to not full you can also tell if something is not empty uh, and then becoming empty or if it is empty and not empty. That's basically the main part. So just to go over that one more time, the Plex storage will only send logic out when it's being used with a filter. You can't just take 
things out with your hand, it has to be done with a filter. If I turn this filter off, turn this filter on, this can be done with logic as well. But I didn't want to confuse things, so I've left it nice and clean. Um, the OR gate, when placed next to a Plex storage, is there for when to, to determine if it is empty or not empty. Not empty to empty gives true. Empty state changing to not empty state gives a false. See it's changed. So if we now want to do it again, we can make this one full and that one empty. The lights go out. Probably use a different color for the empty and the full state, but I'm just trying to illustrate it for you guys. Uh, I think that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, there are, like I say, we just covered earlier, there are new filters for all. Okay. Um, and yeah, like I say, we covered the linking of flex storages with salvages and the heel button. So then, thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.